energy deficient bulbs. <laughs> okay, low energy deficient bulbs. Got it. LEDs. It's not that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm a science teacher. I'm Cheryl, and I slept through science. Each episode, we'll tackle a science question you may have learned in school, but can't quite remember or fully explain. And I'll take the risk of asking the dumb questions so that we can all understand the science we slept through. The bell has rung. Let's get started. Welcome to lesson 47. We are in our holiday unit. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Cheryl, what? What holiday are we moving into now? I can't tell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's amazing is that anybody who's watching us on YouTube is like very, very aware of what holiday we're into. <laughs> but if you're listening, <laughs> then it's like, oh, I don't know. Could be anything other than like what season it is. Um, but we're going to talk about Christmas topics now. Oh, but... You don't like Christmas very much, Cheryl. No, because I love it so much. <laughs> like more than any holiday. So I'm so excited. Um, Ryan has what looks like horns on his head, but yeah, they are Yoda little, ears sticking out awkward. of a Santa hat. Yes. Yeah, yeah it, it says Santa Yoda on the top. Oh, there. great. Okay. Yeah. And I'm wearing my Santa Yoda shirt as well. Which says... Which says, the season to be jolly it is. Nice. Yeah. Or sh should I say it with the Yoda voice? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, now I have to see if I can actually do it. Mm, the season to be jolly it is. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. And I am wearing my Mickey and Minnie under the mistletoe Cute. shirt. But what's fun is that um, from the angle, you, all you see is a hand. Just and it looks a little creepy, creepy kind of, because it's, yeah, you can see like two fingers. Holding the mistletoe. Finger. You can't even see what it's holding. You just see like the yep. fingers. And it's like almost like someone's about to do something creepy. Yeah, it's a, it's a little creepy. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got <laughs> lights in the background. And yes. And people. And a penguin. And a penguin, a penguin, of course, you've got a penguin. Of course, you've yep. got a penguin. Yeah. Well, what Christmas question do you have that we can address today, Cheryl? I thought that we should start towards the beginning of the Christmas season, which oftentimes, other than seeing every store all of a sudden like deck out for Christmas in, when it's back to school time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but after that, I feel like the first thing you might put up, the first thing you see around are Christmas lights. So let's okay. talk about Christmas lights. All righty. Let's talk about Christmas lights. What would you like to talk about Christmas lights about? Well, first of all, I want to know um, your favorite style. So I want to know big or small bulbs, color or all white, and then like flashing, solid outlining the house hmm. it really depends the grid on, thing on a bush yeah it really you know. depends on where we're putting them okay uh in general i like small over big okay uh mostly because i've never had to put them on a house i think the big ones for the most part only work well on a house i think yeah. otherwise they're too big and i've always lived in condo well since I've been an adult, I've always lived in condos and things. So I think I prefer small. Um, I like both colored and white, depending on the context. Okay. I bought a really, really, really cheap artificial tree in an after Christmas sale years ago. As a matter of fact, it's the same artificial tree that I brought to your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You had a Christmas wedding. Yes. I mean, not Christmas Day, but early December. Christmas and themed. Christmas themed, exactly. And it ha lets you switch between white and colored lights because they're LED lights. And I nice. end up doing both. It just depends on my mood. Sometimes I like the, the white. It feels a little more classy, a little more traditional. But the colored kind of just feels more homey, a little bit more yeah. comfortable, familiar. 
So I think I, I think I, I like both. And then what was the other question? I think that was it. Yeah. Okay. What about for yeah. you? Um, I love white lights a lot. Yeah. I think in some places I like colored ones. Um, if it's a big bulb, I like the colored ones. Like my sister has the big bulbs lining her house and mm. their colors and it looks really good. So like yeah. in that context, but on a tree or like behind me, I have these white lights that mm. were also at my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, I. Um, but you know, it's funny with lights is that these days, we're seeing you still see some of like the classic colored lights but more and more we're seeing the led ones right. with like that weird purple that both like half exists and also like pierces your eyes it's a very weird mm -hmm. like the purpley bluey looks so odd yeah. um and that even like on cars we're seeing led there's just a lot of led happening and it looks mm -hmm. To me, like it's, it doesn't feel like the classic Christmas lights as much, like the LED bulbs. Sure. But I, it sounds like they make a lot of sense. Um, okay. But I don't really know why. Okay. <laughs> so, what's the deal with LED bulbs? Like, what's the difference? How do they work? Oh. Okay, so That's we're really comparing question. LEDs from the more traditional types of bulbs. So here's my first question for your pre-assessment. Okay. I can tell you're already like, oh boy. Do you know what the other type of bulb is called? Not fluorescent, right? Right, it's not fluorescent. Because fluorescent is its own deal. Mm -hmm. It is. Luminescent? Luminescent, okay. Luminescent. <laughs> is that even a word? Um, maybe. <laughs> But not for the bulbs. Um, no. Not hydrogen. Nope, not hydrogen. No, I, I don't know then. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you know? You talked a little bit about the ways that the LEDs look. Are there other differences in the way that the LEDs look compared to the traditional ones? Well, LED in general seems brighter and whiter. It's yes, less of like a yellow glow. Okay. And I know they also even make yellow LEDs now, but mm -hmm. even the yellow LEDs don't look as yellow as a traditional okay. light bulb. Okay. Um, but like a lot of cars these days look like they have their brights on when they don't, mm -hmm. just because they have LED mm -hmm. lights. I bought some bulbs for my home that I put in lamps and I'm like, oh, that is way too bright for the mood I'm going for. In yeah. This. So yeah, they definitely, um, I think those are the big differences that I see. Okay. All right. Do you know anything else about differences? Not so much in what they look like, but in how they function or what they do or why you would use them or use them differently, anything like that? Um, they last significantly longer. Okay. Like we're slowly switching to LED bulbs just in our home and it feels like an investment to do because it's like oh it's a little more expensive and then we're gonna have this for a long long time okay um and it sound i think maybe it uses less energy okay but i don't know that for sure okay do you feel like you heard that somewhere or it seems that way to you when you replace the bulbs what makes you think that they use less energy I might have heard that somewhere. Okay. If it's true, it's because I heard it somewhere. Okay. But you are or not I'm, confident that it's true. No. It might well, be true. Where yeah. would you rate your confidence level on its truth? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I guess seven out of 10. Okay. Okay. So you, you think it's more likely that it's true than it's not true? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, one final question, because it seems like there's a lot of like gaps here. Um, <laughs> LED stands for something. Do you know what it stands for? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to guess the E stands for energy. Okay. I want to say the D stands for deficient, but I know it doesn't. Okay. But that's what my brain wants. It's not deficient. It's another okay. word. But it sounds like it should be deficient. But okay. they're not energy deficient. 
<laughs> low energy deficient bulbs. <laughs> okay, low energy deficient bulbs. Got it. LEDs. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Okay. Anything else that you know either about traditional bulbs or about LED bulbs? There's also screens made out of LED. It's not like a type of TV. Mm, you can okay. get. So it's being used in different ways. Okay. That's I that's about all I know. Okay. I mean, that is actually a fair amount. So nice job. And then we've got we've got some work to do as well. <laughs> Let's start with the types of bulbs and what they are actually called, shall we? Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> okay. LED stands for light emitting diode oh i didn't get any of those words no okay but that's okay <laughs> your, your idea of low energy deficient is still fun <laughs> i can't believe i didn't guess light with the l letter there <laughs> i was a little surprised by that one to be honest but but you know that's okay you did mention fluorescent and yeah. that is a type of light bulb mm -hmm. it's just not the other type and i actually i found yeah. i went i went looking I actually have an, ex uh, an old one. Well, it's not that old, but this is an example of what they call a compact fluorescent. Do you remember these sorts of bulbs? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's um, the swirly mm -hmm. little like coils. Yeah. Tubes. They, they look like coils, but they're glass and they're white. And these ones we started using before we started using LEDs because these ones were supposed to be more energy efficient. This is basically, the reason it's called a compact fluorescent is because it's twisted around like that. And these are the same ones that like those big long tubes that almost look like lightsabers, right? Yeah. That are oftentimes in office buildings or schools or things like that. And they're yep. the big, huge, long ones. Those ones are fluorescents. Okay. And so this was a compact fluorescent because it's a lot smaller and that's, uh, and those ones uh, work pretty well. The uh, more traditional type, the ones that we have that have been like the the first ones that you know Thomas Edison invented and made working are called incandescent. Oh, like I know that word. That's why my brain went to luminescent. Yeah, exactly. Inca it's just yeah. I made something up, but yeah, that's okay. And this is this is not the shape of you know your traditional light bulb, but it's the one that I had in my closet. So, um, oh gosh, we've got like a reflection on here. So we'll see if we can make this work. Um, hold yeah, on. I see, I see the wires. Yeah. So it. that's kind of the key and I'm trying to make it, so, well, this is not going to show up. Well, is it, you can sort of, there you go. You can sort of see it's kind of like in a V shape almost a little bit yep. on the inside. That's called the filament. I've heard that word. Okay. Yeah. It's called a filament. And if you look real closely, which I don't think my camera is good enough for you to be able to like focus on and see, but it's spiral. It's like little tiny spirals all the way around. And inside the glass part of the bulb, it's, um, it's not exactly a vacuum, but there's very little actual air in it. And mm. what happens is the electricity runs through the wires goes up to the filament and the filament is something that it has what's called resistance, which means the simplified version is it means that the electricity as it moves through moves more slowly. And as it does, it gives off a lot of heat and some of that heat it gives off as light. Like we've talked about before. It, when did we talk about it before? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> shooting stars. Okay. I think was the first time mm -hmm. we talked about it. Um, it's come, I feel like we've referenced that mm -hmm. different times Probably of like in our energy color equals heat and light. Yeah. They're yeah. all interconnected to each other. And so that's the way incandescent bulbs work and they've worked that way for a really long time, but they are really inefficient. You talked about LEDs are a lot more efficient. You thought maybe, you thought seven yeah. out of 10 chances that they were more energy efficient. <laughs> yeah. They are. And the okay. reason is because incandescence, a lot of where that resistance or the way it gives off, a lot of that light 
is actually in the infrared, which if you mm. remember when we talked about color, there are colors of light that our eyes can't see. Yeah. And infrared is one of them. But we can detect infrared, like our bodies can. That's what we feel as heat. Oh, so those bulbs give off a lot of, like if you touch a light bulb that's been on, it's really hot. Yes, if it's an incandescent bulb. And that's, that's why. Mm -hmm. And that's <gasps> why they're really inefficient is because a lot of that electric energy is actually converted into heat instead of light. Oh, and we don't really need light bulbs to make heat in our homes. That's Not what heaters heat are for. Lamp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unless, and sometimes you that do. makes sense. Yeah. Yep. But normally, no, that's not. And so it's a lot of wasted energy. It is the energy and it is there, but it's not going to making light. And then that gives way to our LED bulbs. And this is obviously not a Christmas light. This is just a standard LED bulb. But I wanted it with the, if I can get it out of here. Oh gosh, it doesn't want to come out of the box. There we go. And this one's shaped a little funny, but it's much more close to a traditional light bulb shape, right? And it will screw into the same kind of, I don't know, connector, fastener thing. But what you'll often notice on boxes when you're buying them is they'll tell you things about the actual bulb. So for example, this box says LED, and then it says in the corner, seven watt, and then it says seven watt equals 40 watt. Oh, that makes sense because we all kind of learned with incandescent bulbs, mm -hmm. how bright do you want it? Do you want a 60 watt bulb? Can your lamp even handle a 60 right. watt bulb? Yep. Or is it like a hundred watts? That's a really bright one or whatever. Yeah. But because LEDs are so much more efficient and the way that LEDs work is they don't end up giving off very much heat at all. Yeah. They convert almost all of that energy into light instead of heat and light, which means they need a whole lot less energy to give off the same amount of light because a lot of the energy doesn't end up going into heat instead. That's really cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And so I want to give you one more sort of visual here. And I apologize for those of you who are only listening and don't get the visuals. But... Well, head on over to YouTube, guys. Yep. And then you can see our Santa hats too. So this is one of the bulbs that I have. And again, the reflection is not great. Here we go. Here's one of the bulbs that I have in one of my lamps. I'm trying to see if I can get it to like focus better. For... There we go. Whoa! So each of those squares is a light emitting diode. It is a diode. That's actually like what that thing is. And so each of those little tiny squares puts off a little bit of its own light. And then this particular light has a whole bunch all the way around. Like in one of these rows is what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 12 of these squares. And there's, I don't know how many sides, six sides something like that, each with the 12 squares on. And so that's when it talks about a light emitting diode, that's what it means. So even in like the, the bulb, often inside down in the bottom that you can't see because the plastic that used to be glass is frosted, so you can't see inside, it's often little bits of these kind of squares, the diodes. And those are what are actually putting off and creating the light. Additionally, what that allows you to do is each of these, sometimes you can actually have them be different colors. And so if each of these is a different color, you can actually turn them on and off depending on the colors and you can change their, the brightness of each color. And so if you have three different colors here, red, green, and blue, the combination of those three can give you pretty much any other color that you would need. And that's why oftentimes if you have LED lights, they can change colors. That's why like on my Christmas tree, I can change back and forth between white light, which is all three of them on, or colored lights. They'll just turn like one of them on or a combination of two of them on because it's the same. Oh. They, you, they just have to combine them together in whatever 
combination you want and you can change all of those colors. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's also cool. why the light that you see that what you asked at the beginning, the light colors that you see in the Christmas lights is a little bit different from the yeah. light in an incandescent because in an incandescent, it's usually the color of the bulb itself, the glass part that's yes. around it that is changing the actual light that you see. Whereas here, it's actually emitting a different wavelength of light for LED lights. It's actually creating a different color of light as opposed to that light being filtered through colored glass. So that's why that blue looks a little... It, the blue looks especially different. The blue, the blue looks different. The purple looks a little mm -hmm. bit different. And the whites, there are different types of whites as well. I think you mentioned that. Sometimes yeah. they tend to be more on the blue side, a little bit more of a yeah. blue tint, like a harsher white. But the ones that are behind you, those are a warmer, yellower color. Yes. Right? A, a warmer light. And they can make them that way too. But I think when they first started making them, they were the bluer ones because that comes more easily just because of the way the technology works. But they, you know, continue to refine and update things and make them look cooler and do fancier things. And, and there you go. That's the story behind your Christmas lights, Cheryl. That's so cool. I will appreciate them so much now. And now, Cheryl, are you ready for your first Christmas quiz? Christmas and quizzes, I don't think they really go together. Okay, how about this? Are you ready for your Christmas quiz? Yeah, okay, now I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what does LED stand for? Light emitting diode. <laughs> nice job. You can keep the jingle bells for future quizzes for sure. <laughs> you like that, huh? Okay. Um, what is the name for the original type of light bulb? Lu no, I was going to say luminescent again. Incandescent. <laughs> nice job. Um, what are, oh, sorry. Why are incandescent bulbs inefficient? Because a lot of the light they're putting off is infrared, which creates heat, but not light for our eyes. <laughs> Do you like that? Is, is, are the yeah. bells working? Yeah, this is great. <laughs> uh, just as a side note for those who are unaware, these uh, Christmas bells, jingle bells, are actually from Cheryl's wedding. Yeah. Oh like my gosh, the number of things for my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we referenced that a lot. So, um, last question. How can LED lights be both white and colored? Because different diodes are different colors. So when you switch them between colors, it would just turn on the different diodes to create those different colors. <laughs> I would just add that be, they, they use those the three primary colors of light. Oh, yeah. Red, green, and blue. And then it they can make any other color by changing the amount of each of those three colors. But red, well. green, and blue are not the three primary colors. But in light, are they? They are in light. That's stinky. Yep. And pigment, the, the three primary colors are, what is it, red, green, and yellow? Yes. Right? Yeah. But in light, it's red, green, and blue. It is. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. It is. It is different. <laughs> so, and then as a bonus, because you yeah. mentioned it, but we didn't directly talk about it, an LED TV, because you talked about LED, LED TV screens, they yeah. work the exact same way. Their LEDs, their diodes are a lot smaller than the sample bulb that I showed you. And it has each, each one, each pixel has three, a red a green and a blue. If you get really close up to your screen while it's on, you'll actually see it. You'll you'll be able to see the the kind of the triad of red, green, and blue. And per just, pixel. Per pixel. And they just wow. change those colors, the amounts of each of those to recreate all of the colors that we need to see. And the idea is the higher the resolution, the smaller those pixels are, the smaller those LEDs are to be able to do that. So somebody right now is working on getting diodes to be smaller and smaller. 
Yes. Also, there's other technologies with screens like OLED, so organic LEDs, which works a different way. And that's a whole nother episode, I think. Wow. But yes. So there you go. So there's your bonus. When you're watching your Christmas movies on <laughs> your TV, know that it's a very similar technology to what is allowing your Christmas lights to work. Well, thank you to LEDs. That's right. Well, that's all we have for this week's lesson. So why don't you pack up your stuff and get ready for my closing remarks. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at I Slept Through Science or on Twitter at Slept Science. If you have dumb science questions like I do, please send them to us. You can email us at isleptthroughscience at gmail.com, or you can even send us a voice memo and we'll play it on the podcast. Please rate and review our podcast to tell other people what you think about it. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss an episode and share about our podcast on social media. Thank you to Beth Reed Miller for the artwork. You can check out more of Beth's artwork at Beth is something. Okay, great. Thanks. Bye. Ah! The bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you.